Hi guys, Kerry Gray here back at the Junalut Resort and today we're going to be talking about how this part of the wedge, the leading edge, is killing the consistency of your bunker shots. Let's get into it. Now quality bunker play is all about creating consistent contact with that sand. And when you use the leading edge or the front part of this golf club here, this acts like a shovel and it can dig down into the ground and it can get deep really quick on you. So to use the correct part of the wedge, which is the back end, uh, the bounce of the sole of the golf club, this is going to promote more of a slapping noise and you can see that when the back end of that golf club interacts with the sand, it just tends to glide through that surface rather than dig this leading edge. Well, that kind of acts like a shovel. As soon as that leading edge starts entering the sand, it starts traveling deeper and deeper and deeper. Whereas with the same delivery, meaning that the club would be entering on the same angle, if we are using the back end of this golf club here, essentially that'll just start to bounce and glide through the sand. So principle number one for today's video is all about understanding how the back end of this wedge right here, this is the part of the golf club that we need to use effectively to get out of those bunkers each and every time. So how do we go about and encouraging ourselves to use this when we're playing these shots? Well, there's a few setup keys we can use and also an in swing thought as well. So let's start with the setup. Uh, in the address position, what we would be looking for would be a wide stance and the ball position on the inside of the lead foot. Now that ball position being forward, well that's quite important. If we tend to have that ball position back, well that can encourage this golf club to come down too steeply and once again the leading edge to dig into the ground. The further forward that ball position is in the stance. Effectively what happens is this gets a very shallow delivery of this golf club coming into the sand and using the bounce of the club. So essentially the club's not going to dig too much. It's still going to go down into that surface but it's not going to dig too much and it's going to glide rather than stop as soon as it hits the sand. So on top of that, once we've got our ball positioned up on the inside of the front foot, uh, we want to shift this club face and we want to turn it to the right. If you can imagine if this golf club would be sitting down on the ground, when we open the club face or turn it to the right for the right hander, the back end or the bottom of the golf club is exposed and therefore that's going to encourage that to glide through the sand rather than dig. So ball position forward is going to help the bounce. Uh, opening the club face, turning it to the right for the right hander is going to open the bounce. And in this position here, after we've set up, we've got a little bit of knee flex and we've got our weight forward, we really need to think about instead of driving the handle down and into the sand, we need to think about letting this golf club, the head of the golf club, really move through that sand as quick as we can. As soon as we start to drive down with the handle, well that can encourage once again the leading edge to kick in and that's going to stop that golf club from bouncing through the sand. So what we need to ensure is that as this golf club is coming through the impact zone, we're really feeling like the club head itself is overtaking the handle through impact. As I show you up here, as this golf club head is overtaking the handle, you can see how that is opening even more loft of that golf club, once again, utilizing the bounce of the golf club. So, how does this look? Well, we're gonna have our wide stance, ball position forward, body on top of the golf ball, turning the club face to the right, and then on the way through, we're really feeling that that club head there is overtaking the hands through impact. This is gonna enable us to get enough speed, get some height, get that ball stopping on the green when we like. So, extending on from that, as we get into position, I'm really feeling that the club head is overtaking the hands. I've got a good setup. That ball's gonna pop out nice and soft. Now, if we have a look at this interaction with the sand here, you can see it just skimmed through that sand. It certainly didn't dig whatsoever, and that's exactly the contact that we're looking for. So once again, as a summary, today in this video, we're talking about how to use the bounce or the back end of the golf club effectively. We don't want to be using that leading edge at all. That leading edge is the part of the golf club which will drive into the ground and stop. So to mitigate the chance that that'll happen, let's turn that club face to the right. Let's make sure we've got our ball position forward, body on top of the golf ball. And then from there, really feel like that club head is overtaking the handle through impact. 
So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. My name is Kerry Gray. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.